Despite a fall in key commodity prices overnight, Australian shares are expected to start the day higher. The technology sector continued to rebound, with Microsoft, Facebook and Google shares jumping by more than 1.4% each. This provided a boost to the Nasdaq, which closed 0.3% higher at 6,776. But there was lackluster trading activity on the S&P 500, which was at the break-even point. However, the Dow Jones has fallen by 0.2%. The broader U.S. market took a pause as investors awaited further details on what Congress' final tax overhaul would look like. There are currently major differences between Senate's and House of Representatives competing tax reform bills which need to be reconciled. One key difference, in particular, is when corporate tax cuts will be introduced, immediately, under the House proposal, or in 2019, according to the Senate's version. The worst performing S&P sector, which weighed on the broader market following a sharp drop in oil prices. The price of Brent crude fell by 2.6% overnight to $61.22 per barrel. This was despite last week's deal between Russia and the OPEC nations, which includes Saudi Arabia, Iran and Iraq, to cut oil production by 1.8 million barrels per day until the end of 2018. What's hurt prices is the combination of technical and all the good news being priced in, record US production levels, and the fact that gasoline and distillate stocks were higher last week, said AXA traders' chief market strategist Greg McKenna. The Australian dollar took a dive after Thursday's GDP figures showed slower than expected economic growth. It fell 0.5% against the greenback, and is buying 75.63 US cents. The local currency also fell against other major currencies, the British pound, minus 0.1 PC, Euro, minus 0.2 PC, Japanese yen, minus 0.9 PC, and New Zealand dollar, minus 0.6 PC. The Australian dollar is likely to trade on global risk, said ANZ's head of Australian economics David Plank. The US government continues to debate tax reform, the Brexit debate is getting heated and German coalition talks are ongoing. Mr Plank also noted, The U.S. president's stance on Jerusalem also raises political risk. Iron ore prices dropped 3.7% to $69.36 a ton. This caution was likely caused by another large rise in inventories, Mr. Plank said. Ongoing chatter about curbs on China's real estate market and the steel industry also played their part in the negative tone in the iron ore market. In economic news, The Bureau of Statistics will release its October trade balance figures, which measures the difference in value between the nation's imports and exports. Reuters polled economists are expecting a surplus of $1.37 billion.